Hey guys, Chovy here. Just a little uh, update. I started playing around with Neo Cities. I'm old enough to uh, remember Geo Cities, which was shut down a couple years ago by Yahoo. But Geo Cities was fucking awesome back in the day. So somebody built Neo Cities. I paid for the five dollar plan. Uh, the only reason I did that is I wanted to host videos. Um, with the free plan, which works fine, uh, you don't get video files. I think all you get are JPEG, PNG, CSS, and HTML. Um, GIF too, probably, I'm sure. But anyway, I don't know. I'm 46, but the older days of the internet were a lot more fun than they are now. Uh, but anyway, I signed up for the plan. You can. Uh, it's five bucks a month. I can forward my own domain here. I bought a domain. I don't know if I'll use it. It's kind of cool having the Neo Cities website. But I can edit the site. And you can create a new file. You just have your static files here. Um, you can have all that stuff. And what I realized was... I really wanted to edit the files locally and not have to like manually upload. So they have a way to use Git to do their CLI. You can follow these instructions. Um, but basically all it does, all it really does is um, you look at the Git hooks, the pre-push. So uh, it just runs NeoCities push dot build. And the only reason I'm using dot build is because I actually converted this over to a Svelte kit app. Now, if you don't know what Svelte is, Svelte is like the newest framework. Uh, well, it's probably not the newest. It's been around a couple of years. But uh, the Svelte kit is pretty new. It's like version 3. They kind of are getting rid of Sapper and putting the whole SSR thing all into one uh, one framework. TypeScript out of the box, if you want it, you don't have to use it. That's pretty cool, I like it. Uh, the state management is way easier than it is in React or Angular, I don't, I don't use React or Angular anymore because I, I find them too difficult to do uh, things quickly. Uh, I switched to Vue for a while, and that's what I do on my full-time job, but Svelte is even better than Vue. Svelte is like super simple. So check it out. Anyway, the idea here, here's my blog. I'm uh, going to be boondocking in the next couple of months. I bought a trailer. I'm going to rent a plot of land. Uh, well, not really land, but... I'm going to rent a parking spot up in the Santa Cruz Mountains for the next month or two until I figure out the trailer. But it's chovy.neocities.org. So one thing I realized is, yeah, the single page, uh, it's going to get pretty big pretty quick. So I wanted to have, like, multiple pages, routes, and, and you can't do anything on NeoCities, like, programming you know, you can't, like, have loops or routes or anything like that. So, like, you can't include a header file. There's no server side includes if you go old school. So, I decided to use Svelte because it has all that stuff built into it. The only changes I had to make, you can run the, uh, the Svelte kit app. Uh, if you go to the Svelte, or sorry, kit dot svelte dot dev just run this command oops okay what did I do get rid of that run this command here npm init my app it'll ask you it'll it'll build a demo app or a skeleton project so since I already had some content, I did the skeleton project. 
I wasn't a big fan of TypeScript a couple years ago, but I kind of like it now. Uh, I guess I'm a sellout. But it enables Prettier JS and SvelteKit. And so you go into my app, run npm install. Just take a few seconds here. And then uh, one thing you need to do is the Svelte kit static adapter uh, okay shit where is it here it is so you can run this guy install this guy one thing you want is the d use at next svelte.js static adapter at next because it'll break if you don't use that version. Um, but then in your prettier config, I'm just going to copy it from their home page. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, link to GitHub. That's weird. Let's just go back kit.svelte.dev. There's the older version, so you gotta kinda be careful you're not like using old svelte with felt kit. Uh where's the static adapter? There is a repo here somewhere, just gotta find it. Static. Okay, static adapter. Felt. Here it is. Okay, here we go. So you gotta add this in. So in your Svelte config, you just add the, open up the Svelte config, add that import. And then for the adapter, you want to add this guy. Whoops. Shit. Not pasting very well. So, I create a build directory. Just put it in dot build. Um, now when I run build, npm run build, I got a malform file. So what happens when you do things quickly. I gotta put a comma there. Okay. Okay, so now if I go into build, I got my static app. You can see it all works fine. So now for my GitHub, I'll, I'll look at my uh, real site. So the GitHub hooks, when you run that whole NeoCities install thing, uh, it's going to create this file. What it'll have is that. It'll push the whole directory. But you don't want the whole app there. You want just the build directory because that's what you'll serve out of. <coughs> and so it's going to push that to, uh, to your static directory on NeoCities. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I do, so the cool thing about the GitHub, I can add all this stuff. Um, uh, I'll just add the same message. Now if I do git push, it's going to upload. Well, I already ran it, so it's finding that everything exists. But it's going to upload everything. And then every time I push to master, it's going to deploy. Which is kind of handy. You can also just run what I did was uh, in package.json. I have a deploy function. I just remove the build directory, run npm run build, and then execute my pre push <coughs> script, and that'll deploy it too. So I don't have to push to get the deploy um, if I want to test something in production or whatever. But that's it. Check it out. Uh, pretty cool. This allows me to like 
go through the the one thing you'll want to do is uh so like the the I have like all these meta tags I added. Um, I got to get my icons from my designer for this shit. The build will break if it can't find a file. Because what basically Svelte build does is crawls the website to produce the static pages. So if you have a missing image or something, it's going to choke and, and fail. There's probably a way to ignore 404s, but I just commented them out for now. So that's the app.js, and then under routes, I have an index.svelte. So what I can start to do now here is like, this is my nav. I can put that into a component. I can create a component directory here. Let's create a new folder called components. I'll create a nav that's felt. We'll go into the index page. Um, Put this in here. Let's pretty that guy up. Now we'll go back down here under. Whoops, let's pretty this one up. Uh, script. Script we want to do. Uh, import now from components. Nav that's felt, and then I can go back up here. Pass in my nav. Uh, it reordered it for me. I put the script at the top, which is good, I guess. I thought it used to be at the bottom. That's weird. Um, so now let's do npm run preview. Go in here. Oh. What the fuck? I got the wrong logo. I did copy a config file, so I'm wondering if that's the problem. Oh, got the right logo there. Oh wait, am I editing the wrong? Okay, this is a fucking weird one. Let me let me just close all these. I'm still kind of confused on uh, working on multiple projects in VS Code. So it's like a nav. Let's see why this is happening. I think it might just be cached. Oh, I took it out. There we go. Yeah. It was just localhost 3000 was cached. Okay. Stupid error. So my nav is still working. I can add some other pages and all that. Uh, anyway, that's how you use FeltKit. Check out my blog. Just Google Chovy's Boondocking Guide. It's chovy.neocities.org. We're about to do a video on setting up a custom domain. Um, but... Uh, yeah, for now, that's it. All right, see you guys. Bye.